I'm Brigadier Steph Crossfield. I'm Head Information Exploitation, Chief Data Officer and Deputy CIO for the Army. My pillar, the Information Exploitation Pillar, owns the pipeline that delivers digital transformation to the Army. From discovery into delivery of actual applications, I own the Information Architecture Branch, the Interoperability Branch that works with our international partners to deliver that, and a Programme Office that runs Programme Fair. Today I spent the first year, maybe year and a half, conducting an information campaign to make sure that everybody understood what the Army's intent was and how it was going to deliver digital transformation through this federated model. I also spent a lot of time in that process working out the networks that were required to deliver a federated approach, which is not an easy thing to do in an Army as complex as ours. At the end of that process, the programme was recast so we've taken the same material, but we've changed the mould slightly to focus it in on delivery. The programme is now entering that second epoch, second phase, if you will, where it's beginning to focus on accelerators in particular, which are about delivering actual change in the hands of the users. I'm Major General John Collier, I'm the Army's Director of Information and Chief Information Officer. So that comes with three principal roles. Number one is around security and really understanding at a forensic level, but from a digital perspective, where our strengths are, where our processes are good, or whether they need to be better, where our flanks are across the whole security landscape. Number two is digital coherence uh, and driving us into a data-centric space. And then finally, my third, which really intersects both of those two points, is about digital transformation. In a sort of big bang approach, or whether that's about incremental and critically necessary change to make us better, to seek advantage across our people, our processes, our data, our skills and our technology. Well, it took a long time that we got Thea to the point where it's a, in the programme of record, it's appropriately resourced. It has just the right amount of programmatic rigour around it to allow it to function as a programme and be sustainable. I'm really grateful to the Army for its forbearance, I suppose, and for the Army deciding to actually resource the programme. I'm very grateful to the team then to be able to turn that relatively small sum of money into the reality of a small programme management office.